Hey guys, today I want to uh, discuss um, doing long items in this Harbor Freight cabinet. Th this method, this will work for just about any um, blast cabinet. Um, I know on my previous video I talked about uh, this, this contraption over here. And what this is, is a, um, is a method to do long items in a short cabinet. Now this cabinet is um two foot two foot eight okay 32 inches so i can basically do something twice as long as that 64 inches or five foot four now this is the item i'm going to do now this is a little bit taller than me so we're not going to be able to get everything in the middle we're probably going to be missing a little but if it was slightly shorter than this we could do the whole thing So we take this out of there and we install this. And all this does, when this is running, uh, when you're blasting inside, the media bounces off of this. So all this does is gives it a longer path to get out. And so by the time it gets to the end of this, it gets sucked back in. Um, with, with this just alone, you're going to get some media coming out, but you don't get any dust. You don't get any dust because the dust is lighter and it gets sucked sucked into the vacuum cleaner. But uh, So all this does is really keep the, the media from bouncing out. And we take this item, this long item here, and we stick it in. All right, now I'm all the way to the end. I don't know if you can see that yep okay. okay so now we're going to turn on the vacuum cleaner and the way it's set up now it the intake air is this way the vacuum cleaner is connected through the back through this back port over here let me just make sure it's connected properly now we're ready to start blasting now, for, for the sake of, of the length of this video, we're going to keep it a little bit shorter. I'm not going to show, show you me blasting the whole entire thing. As you can see, there's nothing flying out the back. It's taking all its air in this way. I just want to show you what I'm blasting. I'm going to turn it around. Even though I'm not going to be able to reach that last part I blasted, because this item's just a little bit longer than what this is capable of handling. But you get the idea. So if this item was <laughs> three inches shorter, I could have done the whole thing. But you can see where I blasted from one and blasted from the other. And obviously I didn't show you because it's just too long for the video's sake. But I did, I did, you know, this was the first end. And then when I flipped it around, I did the other end. Now if this, like I said, if this item was about four inches shorter, I could have done the whole entire thing. So 
I could do a five foot item in this in this blast cabinet without making a mess all over the place. Um, so I thought I'd elaborate more a little bit on, on what I did to, you know, cause I, I did mention in my previous video, uh, nobody's really done this that I've seen online and this can be applied to any blast cabinet really. Um, I, of course, it's nice to have a big, huge blast cabinet, but sometimes we've got to make do with what we got. And um, this works out pretty good. Now, how often do you got to do something that long? Well, you'd be surprised. You know, especially if you're making stuff with junk, which I do a lot. You know, scrap metal, stuff that's been hanging around, and, uh, you know, uh, this is the way to do it. You know, I got a blast cabinet. Uh, most of the time that scrap material doesn't cost me a darn thing except for my time so um, it works out good thanks thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe thank you